joining me today. I'm glad to have you along. Okay, hi everybody. Here we are in Survivor Craft, and we are going to um, take a quick tour of Shit Lake's um, frostbite field. So we warp into this beautiful welcome center that he's created here, and it has a beautiful warm ocean off the coast there. Um, and we read the book. That's the start at the beginning of the book. So it says, Frostbite Fields by Shitlick. Welcome to Frostbite Fields. Here you can harvest as much ice as you can carry at no cost other than the durability of your Silk Touch pickaxe. The Welcome Center holds the warp points to Frostbite Fields. If you look out the window to your left, you will see the lit path leading to Frostbite Fields Ice Farm. To your right is a work area. Let's look down there. So there's the path. I think really he means to your right because there's the path that goes to the ice farm and then over here actually to the left is a work area it's got all the different benches that you need to work on whatever you're working on except well, looks like what we need here should like is an anvil for repairing your tools I see a cauldron maybe I will add an anvil that would be a nice addition Downstairs, you will find Frostbite Fields guest quarters, storage, and an R&R &R lounge. There you can rest after a long day's hard work at the ice farm. Sit and talk to other ice harvesters, look at the treasure maps on the walls, or use the lectern to read one of the available books. As of this writing, there are no books available. That will change in the future. When you could get tired, you go to sleep in one of the beds in the guest quarters. Once the sun rises to another day, you can go over to the ice farm and harvest some more. If you want to travel here by means other than a warp, the Welcome Center is located at 4700 minus 6100 approximately. In the faraway future, there may even be another portal here. Once I get around to that, that is. Stay cool, shit like. I know I'm saying that wrong, but that's, that's the best I can do. Shoot like, shoot like. We'll get it one of these days. Okay, so cauldron. I think actually this is a good spot for an anvil. There's really not one here. Make sure there's really not one here. It's really not. Okay. Barrel storage. I have, ooh, I don't know if I have enough iron for an anvil. Um, I don't, but what are you doing? I have lots of iron. Is there iron in here? That's a good question. Um, there is not... There is, however, um, ender chest. I have iron in this one. I actually have a damaged anvil in it, too. Um, we don't want that. We do want this. We need one, two, three of these. We'll take all of these. And we will quickly zip an anvil because that's something we need to be able to repair our silk touch picks while we are resting with the other ice farmers. So I'll put it over here. I think this will be a good place for it. And should Lake will remove it if it's not. Okay, so of course ours are diamond, but we could repair them with diamonds. All right, so let's look downstairs. Downstairs, let's walk on the stairs. Here we go, downstairs there is this lovely storage area. Storage, and there's this area that leads to individual bedrooms. Some paintings, some uh, storage, uh, crafting table for people who need to make things while they're resting. Looks like there's four bedrooms. Very nice, so ice farmers can stay here, which is good because you definitely want to sleep in this area. This is a mob-infested crazy town. Um, here's a beautiful roaring fire and some places to sit and a place to read books. We need to put books here, which he's going to do. He's got storage everywhere, so there's lots of room, and it's so decorative. I do love those barrels. They're really cool. He's got treasure maps on the walls. 
I should bring in some of my treasure maps because, yikes, I have a ton of them and nothing to do with them really. Okay, so this is absolutely charming. Shit like this is adorable. And of course, as always, he's got it all detailed and it's just beautiful. Well lit. Nothing's going to spawn in here. I love these little like two stairs with a lantern in the middle. That's really pretty. Very cute. All right, we go out here. We just have time to get there um, and look before dark. There's a nice pathway. The, you just follow the path to the ice field. And I think, I maybe I'm mistaken, but there was a tunnel to the railroad tunnel up here. Should, like, do you know where that is? Is it not here anymore? This is the way you would go to the ice field. I don't see the tunnel over there is exactly where I thought it was. Obviously, this is still uh, in progress. I'm going to go over here where I can jump up and then come up here. I don't think I've ever recorded at the ice field before. Um, this is Frostbite Fields. And so what it is, uh, Shitlake has a video. There's the beautiful Welcome Center where we just were. Shitlake has a wonderful video on his channel explaining this, and I will link to it in the description. But basically, it's 144 cells of ice, and you uh, and it has water on two edges. So you skip the first block, um, and you start second. You start at the second block in, and then you um, harvest it. You got to be sure you use a silk touch pick. You harvest the whole the whole thing. I'm not, he goes around in nice rows. I'm not that nice. I just, I just harvest. This way there's no water on these sides. So you just go all the way until you get to that last row. You skip that last row. Otherwise that happens. And, um, Then when you've harvested the whole thing and picked up all the ice, which I probably didn't have room for in my inventory. So we go over to our barrels here. Oh, I have plenty of room. The heck? There we go. Then when you have harvested it all, then you do this last row on each side and the water fills in the whole cell and uh, through the magic of television, it fills the whole thing up and then that starts freezing while you start harvesting the next one. And then if by the time you've done all of them, this is frozen again. So you can actually just keep going around and around. Now nothing will spawn up here. It's all the whole thing's non-spawnable. So you can actually just work through the night if people don't want to sleep or whatever. You can just keep working and working and working. Um, you can also uh, you can also just pop a bed down on the carpet here and sleep if you need to. Um, but, you know, be sure you take it with you and get it back. Uh, if you need to uh, consolidate your ice, because ice, you know, will melt, <clears throat> and you need to make it into packed ice, you can do that. And then that helps make more room in your inventory uh, for the next group. And, of course, if you want blue ice, you take your packed ice and consolidate it into blue ice, um, whatever you want to end up with, and then be sure you close that. And then you can actually store your ice in here while you're uh, working so that you can keep your inventory having room to pick up the ice. But be sure you take it with you because once you leave, that's public now and anybody can take it. So as you see, this goes very far along. And... Um, 12 platforms down, 12 platforms wide, and he made all of this. It's amazing. It's it's really amazing. He made all these pillars so that you can work at them, so that you can store in them. Whole spruce forests gave their lives so that we could harvest ice for days and days and days on end. Um, for Iceberg, Gadfly and I spent several Minecraft days here 
harvesting and harvesting. Actually, I think Kelwind helped me too. Um, so we have uh, lots of ice. So that's Frostbite Fields. Beautiful new welcome center that just opened. Place to sleep, place to store stuff, place to um, work temporarily, um, rest, visit with other ice farmers, and, you know, sing songs from Frozen while you're here. Lots of them. The whole ice farming one is a really good one. I know there was a railroad place. Is it there? I don't know. I, re I remember Fawny dug it out. I swear it was down here. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Yeah, so there's a railroad that goes down Frostbite Fields. So actually, is there a gate here anywhere so I could get out? Um, if not, I could just break it and fix it. But I'm sure that uh, Shoot Lake probably has plans to um, attach this later. Um, or we can also um, attach it to the uh, to the guest house. So um, let's see. Uh, down here will be easier to parkour down or die. Um, Enderman under here. So here there is a railroad. And this is for Fawny to take polar bears. Um, we could take a mine cart. We'll leave it at the other end. But we'll make our mine cart trip on Fawny's Polar Bear Express another video. Join us again.